here is the cell with internal resistors R connected in series with an internal resistor big R. Okay, what are we trying to do here? Oh, it's a graph question. The resistance R EMF is fixed, so those are constant. That's good to know. The internal resistance of R changes over time. Ooh, so this thing is changing. Which graph best shows the variation of current with the internal resistance? Whenever there's a graph question and you're not sure where to start, why not start with some equations? Okay, or actually, let's choose two points first. The starting and the end. So what happens when internal resistance increases? So if you think of it logically, when R increases, there's more resistance in the circuit. So what happens to the current? Current will decrease. Oh? More resistance, less current. Everything else is constant. yeah. So if you look at your, that, your graphs, you can already eliminate at least one. This one. It shouldn't be constant. It should decrease. So you can maybe write in somewhere in your paper. Current should decrease when there's more resistance. Now the rest, they're all decreasing. But some are curved. Some are... Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. To know the trend, you need to know what is the equation that links together current I as well as your internal resistance R. So why not we start with Kirchhoff's law? Let's say I pick a point here and then I follow the current and let's call a complete closed loop. So the EMF here will be equal to the current times the potential, well, I times R times I times R, la, okay. Let me just write it down. So the first potential drop will be IR. You also have another potential drop across the small internal resistor. You can simplify this to IR plus R. Now, what are our variables again? We have on our x-axis R, y-axis I. So can I rearrange this into I equals to something, something? Hmm. Can you just take divide both sides by the bracket? So you have R plus R there. Now, how do you sketch this graph? Well, you can't use a Google in exam, so you need to know, recognize the pattern of this thing. So this is similar to the pattern of the graph or function, which is something like this, one over X. Okay, so how does the one over X graph look like? Well, we've got the asymptotes here. Normally, it looks like this. Okay, I won't draw the... Okay, there's negative part there, but don't worry about the negative part. Let's just look at the positive part for now. So a normal graph of 1 over x looks like this. But you say, miss, what if there's an E on top? What if there's an R over here? Now, let's do the R. Let me show you how to do the R first. So if you have equation of mm, I against R like this. This is how the graph will look like. But we have i equals to 1 over r plus r. So when you have a plus r, it means that your graph has shifted a bit. Or I should say the axis has shifted a bit to the right. So it looks something like this. Now it will intersect with you. Okay, so because beginning here is an asymptote. But now it will intersect at some point and this is r, i against r. Well, what about the e? If you include I equals to E over R plus R. Hmm. So this E factor kind of just makes the graph bigger. Multiplication factor make bigger. Also, this one shifts the graph to the left. This one makes the graph bigger by a factor. So it's, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Like. You'll still have your same intersection point right here. But your graph will... Sorry, not the same intersection point. Your graph will basically move. Like, okay, so move up. Multiply bigger. Okay, so what is the intersection here? Now, this point is when R is 0. When R is 0, it just means what happens when you only have a battery and a resistor? Will you still have current? Yes. Will the current be infinite? No. You still have a, a resistor there. So although you have no internal resistance, you will still have a value right here. So it's not going up to infinity. So this is the most likely graph that will suit this question. Okay, applying a bit of maths there. So, first thing. I don't think C is correct because it's supposed to be a curvy. Supposed to follow the 1 over X kind of graph shape. So it's not this one already. Not straight. Not linear, I should say. 
And between A and B, they are both following the shape of Y proportional 1 over X, that kind of graph, but the intersection makes a difference. Here you are saying there's no intersection, it goes up to infinity. No, when current is zero, when uh, internal resistance is zero, there should still be a current, a finite current, because there is still R in the circuit. So you'll still have some value of I. Okay, so this one is the best answer, best choice for a graph question like this. Okay, any doubts, comment below. Or if not, search up more graph questions to practice thinking about this thing. Okay, that's all for this question. See you in the next one.